Smokers in the crowd, uh, let me hear you. Oh, God. So, right over here, was it, sir? <laughs> Have you spoken for a long time? A couple of years? Oh, th only a couple of years? Yeah. So you started when the big gruesome uh, yeah. warning things were on there. <laughs> that didn't deter you at all? I, think. I, don't, I don't get it, though. I just, I don't, why don't they just take the same mentality trying to prevent crime? You know, put a big poster outside of a 7-Eleven. Got a bunch of guys outside of there. It's like, okay, at the count of three, we're putting on the ski masks, we're going in. One, two. <laughs> Look at that poster of that guy getting boned by his cellmate. <laughs> Maybe we should just get jobs. That would be better. <laughs> hey, uh, you got some spare time tomorrow. You want to piss someone off? Go to Starbucks, look for the new guy, and order a medium. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm only laughing because I did that to the king. <laughs> I the one by where I live, and just, you can spot him a mile away that he's new. You know, looks like a like, quail, you know. <laughs> can I take your order? <laughs> yeah, beaker. Um, Get a medium coffee, please. I think you, you gotta get a grande or a vente. <clears throat> yeah, just a uh, medium's good. I just gotta call my manager. <laughs> Over here. I just hate places that impose their language on us, you know, make us pronounce uh, shit the, the way they want, you know, grande vente, what the hell? <laughs> you know who else is really bad for that? Huh? Ikea. I, I can't, first off, Ikea freaks me out. How many, how many times you go to Ikea, you need nothing. <laughs> you need nothing. No, they put that impulse buy shit in the aisles. You can't help yourself. You're walking by, it just... So, tea candles. Let's see, pack of a hundred for four ninety five. dollars Get a couple of those just in case. <laughs> just in case what? When's the last time your neighbor came rapping on your door? Jesus Christ, you got any tea candles? Yes! How many do you need? 98, 90, I got a hundred! I got a hundred! <laughs> and who, who designed the layout for Ikea? So they got an architect and a psychologist. We want them to enter, but we don't want them to leave. You ever try to get the hell out of an Ikea quick? <laughs> Every now and then they tempt your little hand on the wall. <laughs> oh, we're going back, we're going back, we're going back. <laughs> We've been here for hours. <laughs> I'm hungry. We have food. It's like, you, you find something in Ikea, you think you can pronounce it? <laughs> you think that's called a bar stool? <laughs> that's a... Flakertino! Oh, God! <laughs> Mind packing up a couple of Flakertino Hawkins for me, please? <laughs> oh, they're not here? We're downstairs. How do I... 
Get downstairs. <laughs> do we do that to other cultures? Like, is there some like Canadian furniture store over there in Shanghai? We make them pronounce shit the way we want. Bunch of customers there walking around. Paula, I'm now lay here. Paula, Paula. Oh, Paula, Paula, yeah. Murphy bed. Paula, Paula, Murphy bed, I'm Paula. Paula, Murphy bed, Paula, I'm now. Oh, Paula, Paula, say hey there. Murphy bed, I'm Paula. Paula, Tim Lee there. Oh, yeah, Quola, Tom, Murphy, Bed, a tea candle. No, that's not. <laughs>